If you've ever spent hours trying to pull together research for a report or sat staring at spreadsheets that you barely understand, this is the video that you've been waiting for. Microsoft has just introduced two new Microsoft 365 Copilot agents, Researcher and Analyst. They're more than just smart assistants though. These are task-driven AI agents designed to change how you and your team get work done. What we're seeing now is these new agents will be able to generate real usable output, drafts, insights, charts, and more, all created in minutes and even better, also created from your organization's own files and data, not just what's on your screen or what you added into that chat with Copilot. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how these two new Copilot agents actually work. What makes them different from the Copilot that you've seen and worked with before and why they might just be the most powerful tools you'll ever use inside of Microsoft 365. So let's get started by opening up Microsoft 365 Copilot inside of Microsoft Teams. To access these new agents, we'll access them under what's known as the Frontier Program. I'll link more in the video description below, but think of that like an early preview to these new agents. By selecting the Get Agents button on the right hand side, we can now search for the agents in the left hand side search bar. For example, searching for researcher, we'll find this agent here. By selecting open, we'll now open inside of Microsoft 365 Copilot. And now we can begin to chat and have a conversation with researcher. You can also do the same for the analyst agent as well. And optionally, you can pin these by selecting the pin icon on the right hand side, ensuring quick access. With that now done, we have access to Researcher. So let's begin to work through an example of getting an executive summary for Project Greenspace. I have a range of files and emails and meetings all inside of Microsoft 365. I need to provide an update to my executive team. Well, let's go ahead and add a prompt into Researcher to do exactly that. With my prompt added in to create an executive status report on Project Greenspace, including key progress, milestones and risks, we can now pass that into Researcher. Rather than other Copilot experiences that just provide a result immediately, Researcher now wants to understand more about what it's been asked to do. It asks questions. Are there any specific milestones or progress points you want to highlight? Do you need a detailed risk assessment or just a summary of the key risks? And is there a specific format or structure you prefer for the report? With my response added, highlighting the phases of the project, folks on the financial risks including some of the problems we are having around tariffs, and I would like it in a detailed document that would be read by our program manager and CEO, let's now go ahead and pass this to Researcher, and it begins to analyze the data. It not only is going to look at your most recent files, but it also goes further and begins to pull information from all the files you have access to across Microsoft 365 documents, PowerPoints, PDFs, emails, meeting notes, and more. And we can see this happening in real time. By clicking on this expand icon, we can now begin to understand what researcher is doing. You can see here that it asks itself rhetorical questions. Different threads inside of this Copilot agent are also now being created to focus on different elements. Financial risks, project details, searching for tariff increase emails, identifying potential impacts, looking across all of our chat transcripts to bring back information on these tariffs, and also meeting transcripts. This information is all being pulled across Microsoft 365 to come up now with really in-depth information that researcher can present back to us. But what do their outputs look like? Well, let's scroll down and take a look at our new executive status report for Project Greenspace. Remembering, I haven't written a single word of this. Here you can see that it's pulled out information on the phases of the project and where we are on the overall phasing. We've completed phase one and phase two. It's identified there was no issues and feedback has also been incorporated and also where we are on the next few phases of our project. We look at key progress and achievements. Once again, across our different files, it pulls back information to let us know how we're doing on things like budgets and where we're tracking against, and cost saving measures that we've also put in place for the project. But of course, there are some financial risks and challenges. Tariffs. We discussed this in a meeting with my colleague Matthew, and there are a few emails and chats about it. We can see that's now been summarised in this area here. 
mentioning that steel costs are projected to be increased by 20% due to the tariffs. But what we can also do, and we agreed in our meeting, by bringing purchases forward into the current phase to try and prevent the tariff increases impacting our project. Delays around a supply chain that we also had conversations in one of our meetings taken from a transcript from a Microsoft Teams meeting. We can also see further down here that it looks forward the next steps and outlook on the project, how we're going to potentially deliver this on time within budget and the dates that we're also trying to work towards. This information has now been generated from all of these sources shown here. By selecting show more, you'll see it doesn't just use Word documents as it mentioned, it uses your meeting notes, loop content, PowerPoints, emails and more, and your team's chats to bring up information all into this executive summary taken from all of my teams I work within. In addition, I could ask further questions of researcher and drill down further, or ask it to create a different type of content that we're more suited for a PowerPoint presentation. We can see in less than 10 minutes, taking information from all of these different sources, bringing them all together in a single executive report that I can now take and share with my management team. And how could I do that? Well, select editing pages to open it in a co-pilot page. We can now take this and share it in an email using the underlying power of Microsoft Loop, which powers co-pilot pages or share it with my peers to be able to edit and make changes to it to also ensure it fits the audience. We now have a collaborative report generated I can share with my team really easily that's been generated by researcher. Now, if you're watching this and thinking, Scott, this all sounds amazing, but how do I actually apply Copilot in my day-to-day -day work? Well, don't worry, that's exactly where we can help. At Your365 Coach, we offer everything from on-demand learning courses that you can dive into at your own pace to tailored coaching and team workshops where we sit down with you and your colleagues to explore how Copilot can solve your real-world challenges and give you, your team and business that competitive edge. So why not head over to our website at your365coach.co.uk to learn more, explore our learning courses or just get in touch with us because we'd love to help you and your team on your co-pilot journey. But we also know that decisions are taken in businesses are based on data, not just based on research. And in fact, with analysts, we can take Excel or other forms of data and analyze it to provide key insights and more. In fact, I've got an Excel spreadsheet. This information includes multiple sheets, thousands of rows of data. It includes our sales territory data about where we operate across the world and that will include the product costs and unit prices, resellers, information on dates, product data showing the products that we're also selling and the type of product, and of course, fictional customer data to understand where our sales are also coming from. None of this data is linked across any of these sheets, but of course, we can now begin to use analysts to build key insights from thousands and thousands of rows and sheets of Excel data. And we could also do this in a matter of minutes that would have otherwise taken us hours or days. So by heading back into Microsoft 365 Copilot and our analyst agent, I'm now going to go ahead and provide a prompt to review a data set providing a clear performance summary from our upcoming CEO meeting. Now I want to highlight sales trends, top performing products, underperforming areas and identify any unusual patterns in the data. But where is the data stored? Well, let's go and add content and I could browse to my own computer for this Excel spreadsheet or even attach it from a Microsoft team or my OneDrive. By selecting attach cloud files, I'll go ahead and browse under my files. I'm gonna go ahead and open the sales data that we've just seen. By selecting this file and passing it into analyst, it now begins to also extract the data and analyze it in real time. But it does this in a different way than what we've just seen with researcher. This uses Python and it begins to write up code and analyze this data to build the insights from it. And we can see this in real time, right within our agent window. And after a few minutes, Analyst has now completed its job. It looked at all this information within the Excel spreadsheet and it also provides key findings. But we can also see a summarized version, including charts generated by Analyst, which we could also reuse. We can see here about the monthly revenue trend of all of our products. 
And we can also see here the top performing products across the whole range. The 19200 series, the black and silver models, are the top revenue drivers for our company. In addition, we can see a chart of all the underperforming areas. So as we can see, this information could be used to drive strategic decision making. But I've got a question that I need to also bring up to my CEO. That question would be, based on region, which would be an area for us to focus on and which products could work best for that market that potentially will also offer the best opportunity. Let's now give this to Analyst and it begin to work through the data once again to identify which regions we can target and products moving forward into our next financial year. And within a few minutes, Analyst has now identified that a potential focus area could be Germany. It's identified as an underperforming region with a potential for growth. But looking at other European markets such as France and the UK, these products here would most likely be popular in the German market. So we can begin to understand here more information around our product sets, but also now identify the potential market taken from thousands of rows of data in Excel that we can now apply and work out strategically if Germany and that product range works for us. But using that with Researcher, we can now unlock strategic decisions and more that have only been generated in less than 15 minutes. And I think that's personally where we'll see this massive transformation in how we work with these new agents. So now we've seen these new co-pilot agents, you may be wondering, when can I also use these myself? Well, researcher and analyst agents are starting to roll out as part of something called the Microsoft 365 Copilot Frontier Program. It's an early access release for organizations already using the paid Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And this rollout is happening gradually, and not everyone will see these agents straight away. So if they're not showing up for you just yet, don't worry. They are coming, and when they do, you'll now be ready to hit the ground running with everything that you've seen today. And if you found this tutorial helpful, why not let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and tapping the bell icon, so you won't miss another video just like this from me. Because we've got loads more videos coming up on how to use Copilot and Microsoft 365 in the real world, covering the latest advances in the technology, but also some of those core capabilities that you should be also using today. And trust me, some of the new capabilities landing over the next few months are going to completely change the way that you and your team work. So other than that, well, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.